What does it mean when someone says, I know that place like the back of my hand? In this lesson, you will learn the meaning of the idiom to know like the back of one's hand by using context clues. Let's review. Idioms are phrases that don't mean exactly what the words say. Unlike with most sentences, A plus B does not equal C. In fact, it might equal Z. Why? Because idioms can't be understood by looking at the meaning of each individual word. Idioms have a unique meaning that can only be understood by speakers of that language. If you tried to translate an idiom word for word into a foreign language, it would make no sense to speakers of that language. So idioms are phrases that don't mean exactly what the words say. You either have to know the meaning of the idiom by heart, or use context clues or hints in the text to know what an idiom means. Context clues can be found in the surrounding words and sentences and they give you additional information. For example, the sentence, it rained cats and dogs so the streets flooded, means that it rained very hard. Not that cats and dogs fell from the sky. Students often make the mistake of taking the idiom literally. In other words, they look at each individual word and then they translate the whole phrase into an exact image in their mind but then they're confused. I'd like to show you another way of looking at idioms. Here's a new sentence. Due to my weekly shopping obsession, I know Megamalia like the back of my hand. I need that in an extra medium sized six petite, please. Now what do you think that might mean? To know like the back of my hand. The first thing I usually do is I try to picture that exact image in my mind. And my first thought is, I didn't know that people got to know the backs of their hands. But that doesn't really get me anywhere. So, since I know that idioms don't always mean what they say, I think about this in a different way. So when I sit for a moment and think about the back of my hand, which I never do usually, I realize that they've always played a really important role in my life. They've been the key part of my sense of touch. Uh, they've taught me so much about the world. In fact, when I was a baby, they were the only thing I could chew on at a moment's notice and one of the few body parts that I could see. So my hands have regularly helped me, soothed me, and taught me different things. It's almost as if they're an extension of my mind. But what does the back of my hand have to do with knowing a mall? Well, I think we can all agree that we know the backs of our hands very, very well. They're in our line of sight most of the time, whether we're typing or whether we're fixing a meal. And we could certainly pick them out of a photo lineup if we had to, although I hope you're never in that situation. If we think about the fact that the speaker here, let's call her Angeline, has a weekly shopping obsession, we know that shopping is something that she does regularly and obsessively. She's very familiar with every aspect of shopping and the layout of the shopping mall. Due to this, she's very familiar with it, just like she's familiar with the back of her hand. In fact, she probably knows the back of her hand better than the average person since she's always thumbing through racks of clothing and picking up items as she shops. Now the words weekly and obsession are really good context clues here because they emphasize her familiarity with the mall. So using these context clues, I can infer that knowing something or someone like the back of one's hand means knowing it or knowing them extremely well. Now it often helps if you draw the idiom that you're trying to figure out. And what would you draw for this example? This is what I thought of when I first read the example sentence. It's a wacky picture, but it helps me see how familiar one could be with a person, place, or thing if they were constantly in your line of sight. So here we have a map on somebody's hand. So to know like the back of one's hand means to be very familiar with a person, place, or thing. So the steps to figuring out what an idiom means are one, imagine the exact words of the idiom in detail in your head even if the result is strange or silly. Two, look for context clues in the surrounding text to add to and clarify the true meaning of the idiom. And three, draw a picture that includes the idiom and context clues. In this lesson, you learn the meaning of the idiom to know like the back of one's hand by using context clues.